NNDC is a child of necessity. We must do all we can to ensure that uh, the money that is uh, given to NNDC is used judiciously and prudently. And uh, if we do so, it will change the fortune of that area. I know we have nine states, but if this money is used annually, we, we do approve close to about two trillion naira to NNDC. Uh, that is more than a budget of two states. But, Mr. President, I'm afraid to say that we have not seen much progress, and a lot of people are, are, are saying so. And I believe the committee on NDC has to do their job by regularly doing oversight so that uh, uh, they, they will ensure that whatever money is approved by the National Assembly is properly utilized. The committee recommended as follows that the revenue profile for the Commission for the year 2024 is as follows. Revenue brought forward, 12 billion. Federal government contribution, 324 billion, 844 million, 833,046 naira. Federal government contribution in essence on paid areas by federal government and recoveries by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, 170 billion. All companies contribution and Nigerian liquefied natural gas limited and others, 375 billion. Ecological funds, 25 billion. Borings, 1 trillion. Other internally realized income, 5 billion. Total revenue, 1 trillion, 911 billion, 844 million, 833,046 naira. Prayers. That the Senate do consider and approve the year 20, 2024 budget proposal for the Niger Delta Development Commission in the sum of 1 trillion, 900. Regard to the technical question raised by Senator Alelo, for whom I have a lot of respect, I think my recollection, I am not, I have not been here for too many years, but when we appro appropriate, we pass an appropriation law that provides for deficit, subsequently, the President will write as necessary to ask the Senate to approve a borrowing plan. Not the other way around. You don't borrow without stating the purpose. So when we have passed the bill, which says that part of the money will be borrowed, in my view and from my limited experiences I've been here, we can, when the president so requests, consider the request to borrow one billion or one trillion naira. I don't see fundamental uh, contradiction. Let me also start by commending the chairman for presenting this report in good time. But, Mr. President, I have one observation, yes. very important observation. The NNDC is borrowing one trillion naira, and I doubt very much if this has been presented in the borrowing plan. Normally, if the federal government wants to borrow money, it either presents it to, through the borrowing plan or Mr. President will forward a request uh, to the National Assembly asking the National Assembly to approve uh, the borrowing of one billion, one trillion naira. But good, uh, our good colleague, Senator Arnello, raised the issue of um, the one trillion uh, borrowing. And it's right in saying that, well, uh, maybe we should have had an executive communication to deal with it and by way of giving approvals, both, both chambers. But I don't think that uh, we have to throw this away because that has not been done. I think it can come either before, uh, maybe ideally we could have taken that. But now that we have this budget to consider, it's not out of place to deal with it now. Because now we will be talking of a deficit borrowing, a deficit budget, deficit spending. So we authorize it, believing that the president, maybe when he's bringing any other communication, 
will uh, come with the right uh, uh, request to regularize it. And talking about the situation in the NDC, I just want to align with the comments of uh, Senator Shomole. Uh, 